Now there's one symptom that people come in asking for more help with, even sometimes when they have more serious health issues going on. And that one symptom or part of the body is they're looking for help with their hair and their skin. Now you might not know it, but for thousands of years, there have been highly specialized formulas developed for people who have issues with their hair and their skin. Now in this video, we're going to share what the link is between the two of those things, as well as some of the things that you can do right now at home or with traditional Chinese medicine. Hey guys, I'm Dr. Alex Hine, board licensed doctor of acupuncture and traditional Chinese medicine and author of the health book, Master of the Day. So let's jump in. Now, what is the link between nice skin and nice hair. You know, I'll never forget the story of a particular patient I was treating, and she had what was called treatment resistant depression, meaning that she was taking three medications over the course of 10 or 20 years, and those three medications were just enough to get her out of bed. As I treated her over the course of six months or 12 months or a year, eventually we got her off every single one of those medications, and the only real symptom she had left was fatigue. But she came in one day to the clinic and she said, Dr. Alex, I don't know what you gave me, but besides my mood, my skin is like butter. My hair is starting to come back. And at first I sort of didn't think much about it, but when I looked at the formula I had given her, sure enough, it had lots of the traditional herbs used for moisturizing skin and then also with hair follicle growth. Now we say in traditional Chinese medicine that the skin, the hair, and the nails are the function of the blood. So let's talk about some of the famous herbs and formulas used for treating hormones and some of the herbs that really lubricate that your hair and your skin and stimulate the hair follicles to keep growing, even some that have been rumored to be able to turn your hair black again. Before we do, I wanna let you know I'm doing a live workshop in a couple of weeks all about the five daily practices from traditional Chinese medicine to functionally reset your nervous system and adrenals. So many of us come in and we're having problems like anxiety or depression or digestive problems or sleep problems that we don't know, it's from a dysregulated nervous system. You treat the nervous system and the symptoms will go away. One of the most common patterns that I see on a day-to-day -day basis in my practice in Los Angeles. If you guys want, it's the first link right below this video to sign up. Space is limited because I pay for a workshop software that is limiting the number of people that can come. come to Take advantage of the live Q&A. Ask me anything you guys want. I will stay as long as you guys have your questions answered. It's gonna be really fun. So sign up, it's the first link right below this video. So let's talk about some of the famous herbs from traditional Chinese medicine and even a famous formula that is used, for example, skin and hair. And then we'll jump into some of these home remedies that are maybe not so traditional Chinese medicine, but ones that you can actually use on a day-to-day -day basis. So the first and probably most famous herb is called He Shou Wu. Now He Shou Wu has been used for thousands of years to promote hair follicle growth, basically stimulated. He Shou Wu is famous for the rumor being able to turn your hair black again. Now, what's interesting is that when you look at the research, what He Shou Wu really does is it promotes hair growth and it can actually slow hair loss. So there's interesting research I've shared in other videos. If you're losing hair prematurely or your hair is thinning, make sure you check that other video out because we go deep into the herbs used specifically for hair. Now, another one is called Sheng Di Huang, Ramania, is amazing for enhancing skin hydration and elasticity. The woman I was treating for treatment resistant depression had a very high dose of this herb called Sheng Di Huang she was taking in her formula. That is the main herb that made her skin feel soft as butter. Now, Di Huang can be really, really hard on the GI, so you never wanna take any of these herbs just alone. You wanna take them as part of a formula from a licensed practitioner. A third herb is called Dangue, really famous herb used to regulate menstrual issues, hormonal issues, that kind of thing. Very effective because of the antioxidants in it and it can reduce oxidative stress. So Dangue is an herb that sometimes is said to regulate or strengthen the liver blood, but it is a very, very commonly used herb in gynecological formulas. Now, a final herb is called Bai Shao, which is peony. Bai Shao, people say, builds the liver blood. So for example, women who have thinning hair, brittle hair, dry skin, brittle nails, we often say have liver blood deficiency. This is a very sort of textbook diagnosis, but High doses of Bai Shao are very effective for moisturizing the skin. It helps your skin retain moisture, and also it's related to its ability to synthesize collagen. These moisturizing herbs are very commonly used in like longevity formulas. Now, there's also one famous formula primarily good for your skin 
as well as great for your hair. This formula is called Qi Bao Mei Ran Dan, which is called the seven treasure pill for beautiful whiskers. And what's interesting is that this formula is very neat and that the highest dose, if you can guess, is Hushou Wu the very first herb that I shared with you. This is like a four or 500 year old formula. And back then they already saw that this plant was special. It's good for the skin and it's very, very good for the hair in particular. Now, one thing I promised was some DIY home remedies you can have for your skin. So let's wrap this up by sharing four home remedies you can keep in your pantry that are good for different kinds of skin conditions. Now, number one is aloe vera. And primarily the way I recommend using aloe vera is for sunburns. The reason for that is that it has anti-inflammatory and hydrating properties. You could of course buy aloe vera gel, but I thought it was neat when people had plants and they just have them in their kitchen, if they get like burned, they'll just put it right on the skin, just like that. So aloe vera is a good one to keep at home. Another one is coconut oil. Coconut oil is very moisturizing, can also be good for dry skin. Also it's antimicrobial. So I've actually seen some people who get chronic rashes tell me that they've just applied a little bit of coconut oil and the antibacterial nature of that alone was enough to stop this chronic rash. The third is honey. Now, honey is often used in a lot of face masks that women do that are more like natural in nature. And honey is very, very antibacterial. Also can be very moisturizing. So for some kinds of acne and some kinds of skin problems, people often use them in their masks. So sometimes we'll mix in honey with oatmeal, for example. So in that way, it can be very antibacterial and moisturizing. And the fourth, you probably already have it, is oatmeal. So oatmeal in particular is good for itching and irritation. And what I've seen is that sometimes people will put oatmeal in like a bath if kids have really severe eczema or really severe skin problems. While oatmeal can be used for a face mask as well, I've seen it quite a lot in these kinds of dermatitis or eczema is probably the most common. So that's what I have for you today, guys, on glowing skin, hair, and nails. One of the most common questions that I get, even when people, typically women, come in with more serious health issues that are acute, I get it, we all wanna look good and we wanna feel good. So that is sort of like an east-west point of view as well as a couple home remedies. Don't forget, if you wanna book a visit with me one-to-one -one in my clinic in Los Angeles or virtually via telemedicine, I work with a very limited number of new patients every month. You guys can actually go to dralexhine.com forward slash clinic and actually reach out or call the clinic there to book something with me. Or we have the phone number and the email and all kinds of contact info in the bio below this video. And then if you do wanna join me for this live workshop coming up, it's in a few weeks, Make sure you check the first link below this video. I do four per year, so come hang out, it's free. Join the Q&A, ask me whatever you want, or just come say hi live, all right? We'd love to see you there. And then before you go, don't forget, I have a related video on this exact same topic right up here.